Chapter 5 Hey, Ravane! Neptali called him. But he didn't look at her. Dyer, he just walked straight. Don't follow me, he shouted here. Why are you angry? It caught the his arm and forced him forward. You asked more. It's just like I didn't tell you to be smart I'm writing, you're angry like that? Yes, it's a big deal for me. He confesses the height of its voice. There is only one that's why you didn't tell me that. Like, just take advantage. It smiled. You're the only one thinking badly. It didn't even cross my mind that's it. It spread further. Stop that irritating sound. And remove that smile. It's irritating, he said tiredly. He violently withdrew his arm, held it, and walked away from it again. It's beautiful here in your hacienda, later it said. It is compatible with he walked. In the corner of his eyes, he sees it kicking the little one's stone in their path. It's still embarrassing, and a gentle breeze blows the its hair. Even though the sun is high, it's still dark they pass because of the lush trees there. The chirping of birds serves ambient music. A few more moments and accompanying the chirping of the bird's sound of water. When lifting he only noticed it then they've reached the place where the waterfall is. Wow! It exclaimed. After that is it quickly ran in the direction of the waterfall. Hey! He is here! He ran after her here. Neftali, come back here. It's beautiful. It said in amazement while watching the waterfall. It's really beautiful. He repeated and turned to his behavior. Somehow, his gaze disturbed her. He is first looked back because it wasn't him long time. Because he feels it, to his soul is already being searched by it. He walked towards a wide one stone when he sat down on it. He picked up a small stone and threw it in the water. Ravain, come on. Let's take a bath. Invite this to him. He turned to it. He seems to want to look away when he saw it he is taking off his t-shirt. No, thanks. I'm tired of bathing there. You that's it, he replied. He focused on clear water afterwards. A few moments later, and he heard a loud noise to dissolve in water. Mayamaya is swimming that it was near where he was sitting. He still smiled when their eyes met. She could say that Neptali was poetry in. Motion. He was swimming gracefully like a fish. He couldn't help but observe the twitching of its arm muscles in every movement of those. He seemed to want to caress it. It swam to the other shore. He swallowed when it came up. He was alone wearing white briefs. He seemed to be jealous of water dripping from its body, like he wanted to trade places with them. Its body is also looking forward to the right of sunlight. It climbed up the protruding rocks. Suddenly, he stood up. Get down from there, he shouted here. Concerned him because it might fall there. He turned to her, hugging her smile sweetly. I just want to look at the view from up, it said. When it reached the top of the waterfall, it was it stood there as if it were a deity. Looking at its creations, he blended well with the surroundings, like he was a part of nature. The thudding of her heart rose a notch when he positioned for a dive. He still knew protesting was stirred up this down to the water. If he is a judge in a diving competition, he would probably give it a perfect score. Before he realized what he had done was he just realized that he was clapping he. It swam close to him. Thanks. It said smiling. And now for me reward. Before he could guess what she wanted to do it pulled him towards the water. That's just how he passed feel the cold water on his skin, what? Very. The other words he would have said was trapped in his throat when it curled his lips. Fast too, he was trapped in her arms. He mustered all his strength to get out of here when that was done it was he slapped her hard. You're going too far. You were last night taking advantage that's what it deserves. It doesn't matter, he didn't do anything here. He got out of the water. I'm sorry, he said following him. Hurry up, it's cold, he replied. It blocked in front of him. It held his chin and lifted his face. I'm sorry, I really am. Please forgive me, Ravain. Its voice is pleading. I've been a jerk, I know. I shouldn't have taken advantage. Even if they become married, two of us. I'm offering a truce now. He extended his hand. He shifted his gaze to her face and in its outstretched palm. He did not can decide whether he will accept that or no. He turned his back on her. Come on, he said and began to walk. 
As they returned to the place where it was Cyclone Rider was tied up and the darkness was sudden of the sky, the former hot celebrity of day has been replaced by a cluster of dark clouds covered the sunlight. Hurry up and it looks like it's going to rain, he said. What he said was true. Later, he fell ahead the big raindrops. They ran to take shelter in a fertile tree. But that's not enough to be the shelter from the heavy downpour. He looked at the watch he was wearing. Nine o'clock, it's still mid-morning, but in the dark of. Around six o'clock in the evening. He didn't know how long they had been there. The cold was already penetrating his bones. Nope, his wet clothes also helped. He was shivering from the cold. Are you cold? He asked worriedly. Okay, L. I'm just A dash, he answered. Grinded he the palms to somehow be reduced the coldness he feels. He hugged her when he drew on the sky as lightning. That was followed by rumble of thunder. He screamed and more tightly in its body. Embraced it's him. Sure, it's all right. I'm here to protect you, full of persuasion it said. He was still converted this especially flashed again. H, come over there, he said someone remembers. Why didn't he think of that right away? A while ago? M, there's a cave over there that we can go to shelter. Let's go then. They walked and ran towards it. The white one was still left on the muddy road his sandal that caused the almost he fell down. If only not to Neptali's prompt support is possible he rolled in the mud. Careful. He took what he had caught sandals it also undressed the other one and carried it those are all he has. Still surprised him when he suddenly picked him up. He thanked him for what he did though he didn't like the spread of horror in his body when they were close. But not that he can actually walk. Weakened his knees are cold. With their constant closeness it's like its smell has reached his nose, as well that is the familiar warmth of its body. Even more so he squeezed in here to relieve the cold that screamed in his muscles. After maybe more than 30 minutes they also reached the cave. It's raining heavily. Almost not they can see the surroundings. Shivering already he is cold because the wind is getting stronger when, damn, you're freezing. Here. Even when he landed on the over the broad rock, he is not let go of the hug. His warmth wasn't only give her the heat she needs, but also security. Even if they are in the middle of a storm, he will not perish as long as it is there. I, I'm C, cold, he said weakly. Like he is also sleepy. Don't sleep on me, Ravane. Tapped, he patted her cheek. Oh, damn. I know you're going to slap me again by doing this. But I don't have any choice. Then he claimed her lips. Seized by a pleasant sensation, its lips make the already sleepy. His spirit. Until he sighed and left road to darkness. To again also to be greeted by darkness as he awakened eyes. To get his attention is that gentle exploration of his lips. In his cold condition, immediately the spread of heat throughout his body. But the realization came suddenly his mind. He pushed Neptali violently. His palm slapped his cheek again this. You, you are overdoing it. In all that chance to see you kissing you, he said annoyed. Although he is more to himself annoyed than this. You have to thank me for kissing you, he said this is it. Your face is so thick. Hey, for let me tell you, your kisses are nauseating. To his surprise, he laughed. It's nauseating, huh? Why in a nutshell? For a moment I felt the response you kissed me. He knows he has lost the argument because what he said is true. But never, no he will lose forever. Huh, maybe the cold has entered your brain that's why you have the power to create illusions, he said. You, you are also abusing, it said. She was surprised when he pulled her. He sank into his chest. He is new addicted, it is his captive again lips. Even if he wants to free his himself from its punishing kiss is not he can do it. It's a tight hug to him. One of its hands rested on the, his neck. It just stopped when you probably felt it tears streaming down his cheeks. Nope that he stopped his strengthening one sobbing it doesn't learn to care for each other to him. Stop. Stop crying, please. I'm sorry. Promise I won't kiss you again casually. Stay home, please. Its voice is desperate. That made her sobs subside. S, you said, huh, he said. Yep, I promise. Cross my heart, hope to die. Are we friends then? Oh, okay. From now on, we're friends, saying, according to him. Then let's shake hands to that. He grabbed her hand in the dark. 
He still felt its gentleness squeezing his hand. So tell me more about yourself when he said it. There's nothing spectacular about myself. You will only get bored if you listen to the drama of my life, he protested. Oh, come on. I'm sure there is something interesting about your life story, don't you think? We need to know each other better. He was carried away by its persuasion. He started telling stories about life since childhood. Life is just the same drama both of us. I am also an orphan. That piqued his curiosity. Wanted to, he knows what he went through. She urged him to continue. My mommy died at birth he me because of that. Daddy became an alcoholic. He became ill because of that. Maybe he really is wanted to give up on life. He also died due to complications in the liver. Sigh, breath it. Perhaps holding back the urge to cry because its voice is raspy. He approached her and hugged her. It's okay to cry, Nevtali. Pour out the bitterness in your heart. It would make you feel better. No, I know the bitterness in your heart making you suffer. I know how it is to be. Orphaned. It leans towards him. Soft and gentle, he caressed her hair. H. Until daddy's last moment is he still blames me for his death mommy. He just let her cry and let it out its grievances. Our life is a drama, isn't it? Cow can be filmed. We'll still make money, he said jokingly. Effective again this said he. He felt the lightness of the already heavy mood between them. For a few moments there was none either of them spoke. They seemed to be the same feeling, thank you, Ravain. What for? He asked in surprise. For making me feel better. Thanks a lot. That's not there. We're friends, remember. He was shocked when he turned away from them. Leaning on him. Oh, why? He asked. Sure. You listen. He obeyed. Mixes and strong that the rain fell and the wind roared voice. Maybe it was the workers at Hacienda and looking for them. Come, let's meet them, he said and reached out his hand.